I'm going to talk about procrastination, the plague of the human race. I don't think people think about it enough, but we procrastinate all the time. That diet you were going to start, walking your dog, buying the groceries, it's present in your everyday life. But I'm going to talk particularly about procrastination in work and in school. This is the cover page of a Facebook page called Ivy Memes. What Ivy Memes basically is, is a place for the Ivy students to vent about all their problems. So you have complaints about math and chemistry and TOK and all those subjects and um, especially extended essay. But I noticed a trend in the Ivy Memes. And most of them talk about procrastination, <coughs> even the cover page. Welcome to Ivy Memes, where Ivy students come to procrastinate. So this is another one of the posts in Ivy Memes. And if I have not procrastinated a thousand times, I have successfully discovered a thousand ways not to work. <laughs> so, and this is from Game of Thrones. Why would, do I want to talk about procrastination? Well, confession, I am a procrastinator all the way down deep in my soul. For example, a few weeks ago we had half term and it's a week long holiday and all our teachers gave us essays and projects and most of our works to do during half term thinking that we would have some free time. And they were right, we did have free time. But I didn't do anything at all. I sat at home. I, didn't, I can't even say I traveled or I partied or anything. No, I sat at home in my pajamas all day watching TV or staring at the computer and thinking about the work I should be doing but I was not doing all day long. So what is procrastination? To put off doing something especially out of habitual carelessness or laziness. To postpone or delay needlessly. Well, I thought that I procrastinated because I was lazy and because I didn't like some of my schoolwork and because I'd rather be doing something else. But after a very stressful week after half term, in which I cried a lot because I couldn't get all my work done, I decided to research a little bit about procrastination. So, so why do we procrastinate? I was right. There is a bit of being lazy and being disorganized and finding a work unpleasant. But apparently it also has a lot to do with the confidence in a person. So somebody who feels overwhelmed by the task and doesn't feel confident enough to do that task will delay that work because they don't feel like they're able to do it. Or even somebody who's a perfectionist, I was surprised to see this one because I thought perfectionists would get things done on time and would have their work perfect, but no, apparently perfectionists worry so much about their work being perfect that they're afraid of making a mistake and so they put it off so that, so that they think that maybe further on they will be able to achieve that level of perfect that they want. And also having undeveloped decision-making skills. A person with low confidence could also think, uh, oh, what should I start, what work should I do now? And um, at the end of the day, not do anything because you can't decide on what to do. So what happens when you procrastinate? This. <laughs> you get overworked. Um, the week after half term, I think I had two essays, a coursework, loads of homework, a test, no, two tests. And I hadn't done anything, and the week started, and it was possibly the worst week of the year for me so far. But not only is the work overload awful, but while you're procrastinating, there has been a tendency that, or at least I noticed for myself and I researched, and apparently most people feel that way too, but apparently people feel anguished and um, nervous and anxious while they're procrastinating. It's not, it's not as though they enjoy procrastinating. Well, they kind of do because they're doing something they like usually, but while you're doing it, you still have that nervousness in you, that bugging little thought in the back of your head saying like, oh, you should be working right now. Where's your TOK essay? Where's your physics course? Or it's not there. You're not doing it right now. You're wrong. And you're trying to go through Ivy Means, but you just can't because you know you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing. So it's not a positive feeling, but how can we fight this? It's present everywhere. <laughs> Okay, there are solutions, but there is no magic. It requires a lot of hard work, especially if you're a chronic, like you procrastinate many times. It's hard to fight it, but you have to start from somewhere. So what do you do? Reward yourself. This is where the science come in, comes in, and I'm not a biology student, so I'll try my best here. But when you do something you like, there's a reward system in your brain that releases dopamine, and that makes you think, oh, I'm happy, and I like this, so I'm going to do it again. And so that dopamine encourages you to keep doing that same activity. So if you reward yourself while doing an activity you don't like or an activity you have to do for work or school, 
That means that dopamine will be released and you will be encouraged to work more and work harder. Organization means scheduling, project planning, and to-do lists. This helps because a person who has right in their faces what they have to do and when they have to do it for, they keep, it keeps it more in their mind because procrastinators have the tendency of trying to forget what they have to do, but if you have a to-do list, you will have you it will be right there and you'll have to see it every day and you'll have to tick it and you will only be able to tick it off once you're done and that is very frustrating <laughs> so also you have to think about the unpleasant consequences of not doing the task we always think oh I'll do it tomorrow I'll do it tomorrow but then you have to think how stressed out will I be tomorrow how sleep deprived will I be when I'm doing my history essay at 2 a.m. and I'm freaking out and I'm crying and drinking coffee and I can't get everything done and I'm desperate so this is something that I found for myself. I stop when something goes wrong. I'm in the middle of my math homework and I find a question I can't do, I'll stop, even if it's question two of a hundred. That's it, I'm done. Like my pencil breaks, oh, there's no other pencils, oh well. <laughs> so don't stop, keep going, ask your friends, ask for help. No matter what happens, once you get started, try to keep through. Focus on starting rather than on finishing. If you think there is, it is important to have the big picture in mind, but procrastinators usually think, oh, when I get this done, I'm going to be free. No, you can't think like that. You have to focus on starting it because you're having troubles to start something. It, once you get started, it gets so much easier and you'll be able to get it done so much easier. Uh, and break a, a long project down into short tasks. So don't work for three hours nonstop if, because the project, probably what you're doing, won't turn out as good as you hoped for. So break it down, take a break, or else you'll just be exhausted and you'll be unhappy and you'll probably never want to work again. So, and don't place too much pressure for yourself, on yourself. This is especially for the perfectionists in the room. So if you put too much pressure on yourself for a work, you're probably going to be so anxious and nervous about doing that work that you probably won't want to do it. So relax, do it at your own pace, and get it done. Okay, thanks. <laughs>